Troy from ZAComics.com here. I got a new Lego speed build for you. This bad boy, the Daily Bugle, look at that. It said 76178, 3,772 pieces. Thing measures over 32 inches tall when built. Has 25 minifigs, 25. You got the Punisher, Daredevil. You have J. Jonah Jameson, the Black Cat. We have Blade. And of course, the infamous Spider Buggy. So, instead of wasting more time, let's start building. First thing I like to do is lay everything out and do a quick inventory. You wanna make sure you're not missing any bags. So I lay them all out here in numerical order. You can see, you know, take several rows. There's a lot of bags in this one. You know, 3,700 pieces takes a lot of bags. So each bag is basically one step in the instruction book you see right there. This one has 16 bags, and there's usually an unmarked bag that just has extra pieces. And then here's the base, the instruction manual, and a whole bunch of stickers. The first bag we get here, we're going to start building the base. There's probably going to be one minifig in almost every one of them with 25 minifigs. I expect each bag to have a minifig in it. So we're laying the, the foundation for the Daily Bugle. Uh, like the little rat over here, nice little touch. You got Aunt May with some cookies. Not sure why she's bringing those to Peter's work, but she is. Uh, I, I really dig the sticker there for the New York sewer uh, cap uh, top. And there's all kinds of little trash and boxes laying around. Moving on to bag two, you can see we get two new minifigs here. We've got Gwen Stacy, Aunt May's still there, and Ron Barney. Got a little more definition to the first floor. You see the uh, incoming here, the checkpoint. There's his walkie-talkie by the desk. Uh, got some cuffs too, so I guess they had some problems with the Daily Bugle. Uh, a working door, you see the vending machine there with sodas in it and the elevator. And of course you got a couple of newspapers hanging on the wall. Lots of uh, really cool detail in here. There's some more newspapers and a seating area. So the first floor is starting to take shape. The third bag, we get two new minifigs. We hit Carnage and the Punisher. Plus a lot of the front facade to the first floor is here now. Those windows, uh, those are the ones people kept complaining about. They're really not that big a deal. And then we have an opening in the sidewall that we're gonna fill in later. And there's windows on this side as well. Another cool thing is the front door actually slides open, as you can see, so you can have people in and out. On to bag four. We got so many minifigs now, I had to put them over here on the side. We have Amber Grant and Daredevil out of this step. You can see them too right here. We got the newsstand out front selling, of course, newspapers, Daily Bugle. Got the front here, put the stickers on. You can notice the Daily Bugle. They got some potted plants. You can look through the windows here. I told you that crack would be filled in. They got a TV showing some Daily Bugle news, of course. So you spin this around. Let me show you the back. Here's one of the birds I was telling you about. It doesn't count as a minifig, but it's kind of cool. He's sitting on the exhaust up there. Bag five gives us a few more minifigs. We're going to get Bernie the taxi driver right there. There's his taxi behind him. And we're going to get this awesome Sandman on a huge pile of rubble. Really like that minifig. We also get the dumpsters in the back, which if I take off the lid, I can show you. There's actual Lego garbage in there. They actually gave us little pieces to resemble garbage. The taxi cab, pretty detailed. He's ready to go pick up a couple of fares as soon as Bernie gets back in. On to bag six, and of course we get another minifig. This one, Robbie Robertson. And you can see the office is getting quite a bit of detail with the four TV screens. You got computer monitors. You have a stack of newspapers. You got the desk with the keyboards. Newspapers hanging on the wall and the elevator over here. Coffee cups. And let's not forget, every New York building has to have a fire escape. On to bag seven. The second floor offices are starting to take shape. We see all the coffee cups. Donuts, coffee machine, there's a water cooler back there, the elevator, and uh, no, that's not Ron Burgundy, that's Ben Eric just hanging out on the top of the second floor, waiting for me to finish the build.
bag number eight, we get the marquee on the front, the scrolling video. And uh, waiting up here is one of my favorite characters. You'll see her in just a second. Miss Felicia Hardy, the black cat. Just waiting. To, uh, the, still some more stuff. She's got a diamond there in her hand. I'm not sure why there was diamonds in the bugle, but she's got one. Bag number nine, and we see Mysterio. Not Ray Mysterio wrestling fans, just Mysterio from Spider-Man. We got a working door here and some more fire escapes and some uh, wood planking floor. So we're going to add this on to the build. Bag number 10. We get a little more definition to the office. I'm sure you've seen the meme with Spider-Man sitting at the desk with a Spider-Man portrait behind him. Got a copy machine and some pizza and a camera. This might be Peter's office because, oh, there he is hanging out. Bag 10 gives us the Peter Parker minifig. And an actual working door to the outside. Bag 11, we're going to get some excitement with this one, guys. We've got the green goblin busting through the office window there with that damage. Look at all that. Just He's throwing some pumpkin bombs. You see the explosions. If you look over here in the corner, a spider web is there. So I'm guessing he was in an altercation with Spider-Man. But uh, these are just held on by the little ball and uh, joints. So you can move the damaged window around, you know, have it displayed a little bit different. Let's see here. Uh, coming in, out, sideways, however you want to make it look like he's actually busting through the window. Bag 12, we're going to get the minifig for Ghost Spider or Spider Gwen, whichever one you want to call her. They're, they're pretty interchangeable. Uh, we got another little piece of that floor there and some more of that iconic fire escape. The 13th bag, we get a little more definition to the offices. Look at this. That's the big man's office, and I guess that's his secretary. And uh, there's his desk with the awards in the background, coffee cup. And there he is, J. Jonah Jameson, right next to Betty Brandt. Bag number 14. It's really looking like a high rise now. So we got all the fronts on, all the windows. We got the goblin breaking through. We got some flagpoles up here. This is the new section we just put in. All the windows and three minifigs with this one. You got Spider-Ham, Miles Morales, and my boy Venom over there causing some havoc. There's where the spider buggy is going to get connected later on when we build it. And uh, a little more detail in the back. There's a sign and there's another bird in his nest sitting on the exhaust. Fifteenth bag. Only one more after this. This one we get a lot of detail on the roof. We're going to show you on the way up there. It looks so amazing. No pun intended. Look at this. We get the water tank and the microwave tower. In which superhero uses microwaves? It's Firestar. So it just makes sense for her to be up there soaking up that microwave radiation to use her powers with. This uh, radio tower and the tank on top, you can see a little a little graffiti stickers over there firestar looks pretty amazing and like i said here's that graffiti i was telling you about somebody put a miles morales face and a goblin face on the water tank that's just typical for new york city man so this is almost finished one bag left i almost forgot blade was in this bag as well so we got too many figs out of bag 15 the 16th and final bag. Look at all these minifigs. Just no place to display them. They're just putting them right here in front so you guys can see them all. There's 25 total minifigs in this set. Some more obscure characters, some, some pretty mainstream. So here is the front of the Daily Bugle with all those villains and heroes and some antiheroes actually. We're going to scan over here to the newsstand to show you Doc Ock and the Sandman. Great, great figures. Going up the front of the building, we got the marquee with the scrolling video. You can look through the windows and see all the offices. Those uh, fronts do come off. The facades come off, and you can put people in the offices. There's Gobby popping out of the window of that office exploding stuff you got your flagpoles didn't come with flags though that was uh i was kind of surprised about that the iconic fire escape there on the side 
there's the star of the show, the spider buggy. And we finally get the Daily Bugle sign put up there. Yeah, that's uh, their version of a bugle. So the detail on this, I, I'm loving it. We got Firestar with all her radi- microwave radiation powers there. Let me show you the side with the fire escape. And she, I, she, they got her point to the side. I'm guessing you, if you wanted to, you could move it, have her pointing in any direction you want. That's just how they showed it in the directions. Got to have the fire escape. Safety. Safety first. And it goes all the way to the ground, as it should. Some boxes and debris. You got your dumpsters in the back. The vents with the, the bird sitting on it. The back door, which actually does open with a light over the door because safety. You don't want to walk out into a dark alley. Now, here's his little hidey hole where he just puts his backpack webbed to the side of the building so he can come and get his clothes later. Another light for the balcony. That's an opening door. Another sign. Bird on the nest. The rooftop. The rooftop is pretty cool. I'm really liking the rooftop. Pan out here. We're going to get a close-up of the spider buggy. They. Uh, I don't know why they thought they needed him to have a vehicle because he swings through the town so that i think it was a toy gimmick they wanted to sell more toys but the spider buggy is still a cool little touch uh down here where i told you the breakout got filled in well you can take this out and look directly into the first floor pretty cool you see all the detail you can also open both doors in the back and look into the offices from the back here's the ground floor so you can look in on the checkpoint and also on the balcony you can look into the office and see all the stuff going on there. There it is in all its majesty, the Daily Bugle Lego set. It's the biggest Marvel Lego set to date. Uh, they might make one bigger in the future, but it comes with 25 minifigs that you see displayed up front here. I don't believe that counts the rat and the two birds on the back of the building. And there are five minifigures that are new to this set, and that's Blade, Punisher, Daredevil, Black Cat, and J. Jonah Jameson. Those are all new to this set. This set is just massive. Like I said, 32 inches tall, 10 and a half inches deep, 10 and a half inches wide. We got the spider buggy up here, which in the comics, I believe comics continuity, it's in the bottom of the East River. Uh, it was only the, <laughs> only existing for a couple episodes or issues. There's so much cool little stuff here. I mean, uh, the biggest complaint I saw online was people were crying about the windows. Oh, dude, it's a skyscraper. You see it. It has a lot of windows. It's not a big deal. You put five of them together, stick it in there. So I don't know why people are wanting to be petty and cry about that. It wasn't a big deal. It was a little tedious, you know, when you had a couple hundred to put together, but that's part of Lego, man. It's very, very... Uh, full of Easter eggs. There's little things hidden everywhere. You can see the goblin breaking through the glass here. Uh, I believe there's enough pieces if you didn't want to break it through the glass that you could uh, probably put it together without the broken glass. I kind of like that though. The other complaint I saw was the weight of the goblin is only held on by two little pegs back here, but he seems to be holding up pretty well. I, I have no issues with that. Tons of stickers. You know, you got all the uh, different signs and inside there are TVs. You can take off the, the front facades and see actually inside the offices. Uh, even on the first floor, there is a uh, checkpoint. So you can take off the facade, put your figures in there however you want them, stage them, uh, you know, to be working. And we even have Firestar. Firestar and Goblin are really the only two that are attached uh, as part of the build. The rest of them, I mean, and, and you can move Firestar and Goblin around if you wanted. Uh, but the rest of them, you, you can make all kinds of cool stuff go on with these these figures. We got the taxi cab, uh, the dumpsters I showed you in the video. You can actually put trash in the dumpsters. They, they even gave you Lego trash to put in there, which was kind of weird. Uh, I like this set. I really, really like it. I, it's one of the only skyscrapers. Uh, is, like I said, it's the largest Marvel MCU build. So much going on. So many Easter eggs hidden. Uh, there's tons of newspapers all over the place. It's the Daily View. You would expect a lot of newspapers. And if you read the headlines on the newspapers, they, it's a lot of um, callbacks to different things that happened 
throughout the comics. Uh, it's just, I, I didn't think I was going to like this set, you know, $350. It was a little pricey, but looking at it now, it, I think it was worth it. It so much little stuff and you can see through the windows without taking the facades off all the stuff going on in the offices. So yeah, I mean, if it was me, I would set it up and probably leave it and not mess with it. So I'm going to give this one a, a big thumbs up. This is one of my more favorite sets. It wasn't a hard build, wasn't an easy build either. There was a couple of times I had to backtrack because I wasn't paying attention and I put some things in the wrong place, which ended up being a problem later because things didn't quite line up. But I've, you know, it's easy to figure out. You just go back a couple of pages like, oh yeah, look, I'm a bonehead. I didn't do this right. So you, you just use the little removal tool, which I told you is the, the best piece Lego ever made. Pop them out, redo them. Not a big deal. Um, I would say this is probably for, you know, teens and above. Little kids are not going to be able to do this easily without help. But yeah, 350 bucks. the Lego Daily Bugle. Great set. Lots of Easter eggs. Really enjoyed building it, and I, I'm going to really enjoy playing with it. If you liked this speed build and you'd like to see more like it, subscribe, man. It don't cost you nothing, and it really helps us out tremendously with the demographics. It gets us popped up there so that we can do more videos like this for you guys for free. And until you see that next video, later, nerds.